And then boom, you got this Tola Coon. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all know how Dream get. You know how Dream works. Now watch this. The Tolkun. The Tolkun is a large whale-like creature native to the oceans of Pandora. The Tolkun is highly intelligent, as intelligent as the Navi, albeit in its own unique way. Similar to terrain whales, this intelligence has allowed the Tolkuns to form a culture among themselves, including the establishment of the Tolkien Way, an ancient doctrine stemming from their early history that forbids all forms of killing. Tokens are being targeted and killed by the RDA because they contain a yellow liquid called Eritrea in their bodies, which can stop human aging. Eritrea. Hey, we're about to have some fun with this shit, nigga. Watch this. Boom. So y'all can see it right here, right? This is the creation story. This is the creation, the Adam and Eve, the creation story, right? This is the one y'all are familiar with. Feel me? But then boom, let's get there. So this is the one we are, but this is the real one that we should know. So boom, the token and young guy was doing this action to make, see, when they still framed it, I knew it was it. I said, oh, that's that Adam and Eve spirit just told me. Or creation of Adam, right? So boom, that's it, right? But then watch how deep this goes. Watch how deep the rabbit hole goes. So we understand the creation story, the creation of you and being, right? And being one with God. You are being one with God, being in alignment with God, right? So boom, they're in alignment with their token. They are one with their token. They're one. Their whole being is one with the token. That whole, them water people, right? They're one with the token, just like we did in Black Panther, the wet Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, right? They're one with the water. They're one with the token. The token is an idea. Watch this. So boom, let's get to it. God goes into the token. He goes in and he sees this mysterious plague. Now this is the whole movie right here. When he went in, I said, okay, I got it. I got it. This is the whole movie right here. So he goes into the token, right? And he sees what? What's the token? What's going in there? Basically, subconscious mind, right? We don't got to get too deep. And he's seeing what? Destruction. The, the token just showing them destruction and chaos and all this stuff that's happening in their lives when he touches or when he connects with the token, right? Because they're basically he's basically saying hey look this is what how i'm getting polluted i'm getting toxin i'm getting trashed out here you feel me i'm getting abused right i'm getting abused how it, because niggas ain't treating me you know like they supposed to be treating me they're not being the way of the water so he goes in and he finds it and he's in the land with the token so let's get it. Noah and the whale. So God sent a whale to swallow Noah and to save him from drowning. While in the belly of the whale, Noah prayed to God for help, repented, and praised God for three days. Noah sat in the belly of the whale. Then God had the big fish throw up Noah onto the shores of Nai. Oh, Jonah. Jonah and the whale, whatever. You know, I ain't in the Bible, man. God damn. Chaos in the blood. <laughs> so look at this shit so the three for three days jonah for three days jonah right and got and he was praying right so let's get it watch this boom the three days equals what the pineal pituitary and hypothalamus glands uh-oh praying is what meditation Navi equals completion so basically the way of the water right is you tapping into what yo three this is all about the secrets or the secretion of hormones that's all this is that's all this whole story is family and i seen that well and i seen what they did i said oh, okay I, I know what it is right so y'all looking at it like a like on a physical level right no it's metaphysical they tapping into something deeper to some strange so you can understand way of the water Remember, the way of the water is your body being water. You feel me? Your body, you're a body of water. And the Tokun is, and the Tokun and the Banshees and the Elu are what? Your glands, your pineal pituitary and hypothalamus gland. You feel me? Don't worry, I'm gonna break it down for y'all so y'all can understand how deep this thing goes. So watch this, the Tokun or the Tokun right is your gland right is your hype is your hypothalamus gland so watch this all about the secretion boom y'all remember the part they did it they secreting out of the well you feel me chaos in the blood boy they tapped into this thing on a whole different level boy hey they said we taking no gold hey put a one in the chat if you follow it man because i'm hey it's about to get deeper family y'all know don't watch how dream works, baby. I can't make it up. I'm not made. <laughs> Say, watch this. Watch. All right, watch. Okay. I'm just telling you what it is. See, 
you ain't gonna hear this from nowhere else. I'm telling you straight up what it is. This is it. This is the end. You feel me? That's it. They tapping into your secretion. The secret. Look, this is all about the secret. Or the sec the secretion secret of hormone. I'm about to get there. Watch this. Let me put this on so y'all can see where how far the rabbit hole goes. Watch this video while we get it in. This gland, it's up in the brain. Hey guys, I want to share with you uh, some data about the hypothalamus. It's kind of a mysterious gland that's up in the brain. It's this little gland that is the size of an almond. Okay, and then the pituitary is the size of a pea. So they're very, very small. Let's start with the hypothalamus. Like what is the hypothalamus? Hypo meaning below thalamus. So there's a structure in the brain called thalamus. It's right below it, the size of an almond. It's a very important um, because it's composed of about 11 to, tw um, it's actually 10 to 11 small little bundles of nerves. They're called nuclei. And these little centers are pre-programmed um, kind of controls like blueprints that tell the body to do certain things. So the hypothalamus has a goal of adapting the body to the environment to help it survive. So it's constantly getting feedback from the body and it's adjusting different things. Uh, it controls sweating, blood pressure, stress reaction. It controls leptin, which has to do with your uh, fat. Um. So basically, before he go on, the hypothalamus is basically controlling and how you move in this thing, right? I did a movie, what did I do? Glass, the, the, that glass decoded. I had did that back in the day, go check that out. But watch how he worked because this is important because a hypothalamus to the pituitary to the other glands which is basically your chakra system and you moving or feeling in a certain manner watch this being burned and also your satiety and your metabolism the gi controls thirst uh, certain emotions like a rage uh, female sex hormones satiety tranquility uh, pleasure centers are up here uh, water balance fluid electrolytes hydration uh there's a little center that's called the superchiasmic nuclei and that center con uh, controls like it's a little clock that's built into your brain that tells you when to go to sleep when to wake up so it's a whole circadian rhythm control off that and then the thermostat so if it's cold out you'll shiver and this little center will cause the body to do that um stress uh sex so if you ever notice that if you're too stressed sex drive might go down because they're both in the same center uh, fluid wakefulness uh heartbeat temperature um so there's a lot of different um like life basic functions that are up in the brain that basically constantly are controlling the body okay so that's what the hypothalamus does it basically keeps uh, certain things at a constant so it brings things down to a, a level it's called homeostasis which is basically the ability to adapt to your environment to maintain a certain constant um, boom, that's just the like word. if you have uh, homeostasis that's the word boom stop right there so boom look go hypothalamus gland is a big player in this thing your hypothalamus gland just like you were saying is basically the owner and then the pituitary gland is the manager of your feelings and stuff like that and your glands and your functioning being right so you can feel a certain way so you can move a certain way right and in your movements in your being right feeling is the key so if you don't understand that feeling is the key then you hey you're gonna be lost forever because this thing is nothing but a feeling universe now watch how i work watch this because we about to get real strange with this thing hey y'all like this thing up man i'm telling you it's about to save somebody watch this so y'all know the secretion right the secretion from the well you feel me the secretion from the well or the hypothalamus right the secret or the secrete equals secret and the E is your emotions, your energy in motion. That's why they work a feeling. You feel me? <laughs> Chaos in the blood. And that's why we're feeling people. So the way we move, the way we dance, the way we do our thing, the way we so fly and shit. You feel me though? Hey, hold on. Let me shout out Urban X again, baby. Hey, hold on. Let me get my shit right. Way up. Water. Oh, um, get it. Oh, you feel me though? So the way we do our things, the way my hat is falling off my being right now, nigga, that's energy in motion. You feel me? That's what they want. Remember, I showed you the guy, the spider kid. He wants to be you. They want to be you. You feel me? They all still want to be you. Look, they want to be you. What? I can't make that up. I'm just showing you what it is, right? So the key is the secretion. The secret is in your energy or is in your secretion right and how to get your secretion online or how to get your secret online that's the whole secret of the world that's the whole secret of the universe